Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband, the Warsword Conquest mod. As I've been uh, announcing and hinting towards over the last oof, nearly a month and a half, two months now on the channel, I will be doing a playthrough in Mountain Blade Warband with the Warsword Conquest mod. A couple of words about the mod before we actually get into our character creation and all the good stuff. Warsword Conquest is, a, as you were able to see here, uh, at least in the previous version of this mod, a Warhammer Fantasy modification for Mountain Blade Warband. And it is a incredibly good mod. I did actually a review of this mod. Or was it the first impressions video? Something in between the two, yeah? Uh, a while ago, and the, since then the game, uh, the mod, well, not the game, but the, uh, the mod has been a little bit updated, a little bit more polished. Roughly remains the same, though, and it is just fantastic. Um, it does have its problems with the game balance, with costs, with um, some of the unit balances in particular, but, you know, it is obviously still in development, and relatively soon we're going to have a major patch for this mod, adding metric tons of content, so looking forward to that as well. Now, all that's, no, no, that's been said and done, and let us begin anything about Warhammer Fantasy don't worry, you don't really need to. I mean, this is as good an introduction as any to the to the entire universe. Um, you'll you'll see. I'll, I'll explain a lot of stuff uh, lore wise as we as we move on through the game. Now, perhaps the biggest and well, not perhaps, but the biggest question, the most important question asked to us um, at the start of this mod is who do we want to be. Usually, you pick male and female, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff here. So. I was thinking, uh, perhaps, you know, orcs. Orcs are really good. Um, they're not that powerful, though. They're not that powerful. Orcs need a little bit of a buff, in my modest opinion. Skeletons are just, meh, no. Uh, halflings are basically, um, you know, hobbits from the Shire type thing. You know, we're not going to do that. Skaven are really fun. Skaven are really, really fun, but they are underpowered as all hell. Compared to their neighbours. A 100-man army of the Skaven versus a 100-man army of anything else, and the Skaven are at a huge disadvantage. So, there's a problem there, yes? You can see the uh, the problem. Now, Beastmen are really fun, but everyone hates them, and they hate everyone else, so it's a bit of a problem and a bit of a annoyance at the start. Uh, everything else is fair game, as far as I'm concerned. These are all very valid and, and interesting choices, but I decided to go for a Vampire. As you can see, that has certain implications already, obviously. Now, vampires are really challenging to play, as Sylvania is a very small province, and you have not, you don't have a lot of uh, places to recruit stuff, but, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Your father um, was, let's see, an exiled heretic. Ooh. Treasure hunter, a deformed mutant, a Sylvanian noble. Let's go with a Sylvanian noble. As a child, you spend your days as a... Uh, hmm... A scholar's pupil, why not? With your renewed strength, you set out to become a vampire squire, a blood knight, or a, va or a vampire lord. Now, I'm not powerful enough to become a vampire lord, that's, uh, that's a bit preposterous. A blood knight, though, yeah, why not? And a blood oath is our motivation for riding out into the world. We're going to play this on realistic. Kind of like Iron Man mode for the game, if you will. And I shall dub the... There we go. And spend most of our stuff into intelligence and strength. <coughs> My apologies. Now, there is a bit of a problem with the vampires now, as, as it is in the game. Uh, namely, they're a good faction and all, but they lack one key part of the vampire faction that is in the... Uh, the Warhammer 40k lore, and that makes them so interesting, and that's magic. There is not a lot of magic in the game um, right now. There is some, but like I said, not a lot. So that is a little bit of a problem, I'm afraid. Um, so for example, one of the key elements of a vampire army is the ability to raise the dead. I don't have that ability, and I don't think that ability is in the game, or at least it wasn't uh, when I last played. So... Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, let's randomize a few times. This is good. Going with that look, not that hair though. Can we put like uh, 
Oh, I don't know. Oh. Perfect. The other skin type, though. Uh, wasn't super fond of the teeth. And this looks good. Yeah, this is good. Here we go. There we go. Good enough. Now, we should take a caravan to Sylvania. There we go. <coughs> My apologies once again. And here we go. This is Warhammer Fantasy. This is the Warhammer Fantasy map with all its glorious factions. You'll notice that Chaos is unified into Chaos United, I believe, or something like that. Uh, and this is our tiny little province of Sylvania. Pretty cramped up, as you can see, lots of villages and ca uh, castles in close proximity to each other, but not a lot of territory. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to seize some from the uh, the Empire of Sigmar, or uh, well, who knows, maybe even from the Dwarves a little bit. We'll see how the AI does, uh, if they don't you know, mess up royally, but let us begin. Let us begin then, and begin the only way we can begin by entering the first major city. Sorry about that tiny little jump cut I had to tweak with the audio settings a little bit. Now, in comes one of my... Uh, well, I don't want to call it one of my favorite parts of the game, but it's not far from the truth. Every single castle, interior and, uh, and outerior, or exterior, sorry, wrong choice of word there, is done customly. As you can see, the um, various vampire lords and, and stuff you'll see have um, mostly the same armor, but it's the attention to detail and these, um, all that. You know what? That. There we go. <laughs> it's the fact that literally every single castle in the game, of which there are hundreds upon hundreds, has been done customly uh, like this. So it's, it's really, really just mind-blowing to me. This is Lord, uh, Lord. No, this is Lord Vlad von Karstein, the ruler of Sylvania, and I'm at his service. Now, do you have any tasks for me? Um, hunt down the Lord's villain known as Joya of Middleheim. Yes, he's a spy in Sylvania. I assume we shall do that, my lord. Now, you. Who are you? Uh, may I have the honor of knowing anything about you? I'm wife to that guy, who is a father to that guy, and you're a mother to Countess Carith. Okay, Belf, elves, elves. Why, why elves? Uh, do you know about you? No, not elves. Harkon. Oh. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Countess Imperio as well. Hello. Um, I have the honor to know more about you. Wife to Elf Lord Thalador. An elf wife. An elfess. Doesn't look very elfy to me. Interesting. That could be a mistake. It could be something I'm not aware of. It wasn't there last time, so. Get in the marketplace and check out the prices really quickly because I, uh, to be brutally honest, I forgot. I forgot how the prices work in this game and what's like the most expensive stuff. Around 8,000 to 12,000 is the most expensive weaponry. 20,000 for for Blood Knight weapons and, and stuff like that. And vampire plate armor is ridiculously good, but it's like 13,000. That's a lot of looting. Okay. Speaking of which, we get our first task done, then shall we? Uh, alone, I move pretty quickly. Unfortunately, I don't... I haven't checked my... Yeah, there we go. I don't have a horse, just a regular sword, which is... Slightly unfortunate, you know, as a Blood Knight you'd think I get something else, but uh, you know what, these these early game tasks are a little bit trivial and, um, you know, dare I say boring from time to time, but they need to be done, so, you know, I suppose no point in d delaying that. Uh, who are you? Are you the village elder? Yes, you are. Yes, you'll see that all of the villagers um, in, in Sylvania are undead. Apart from the village elders, which not necessarily true, actually, though I understand that it's a bit difficult to implement the Sylvanian system into the game. Uh, though I'm not sure how difficult exactly. Namely, a lot of people don't know about this. Um, 
humans do live in Sylvania. And they're relatively safe. I mean, sure, every now and again, you know, an angry vampire might come and suck your family dry or whatever, but that's fairly uncommon. And besides, you live in a... (coughs) Sorry. In an area where the living conditions aren't exactly that great, but you live next to a bunch of vampires and ghouls and... Monsters, uh, never mind, I just wanted your head anyway. You, know, you live next to a bunch of these ghouls and monsters and stuff. Uh, how many people do you think are stupid enough to try and do something to you? You know, like raid or pillage your village or whatever, that actually rhymed accidentally entirely. How many people do you think are stupid enough to try that? Not that many. And as a result, Sylvania is relatively safe. Um, let's speak with the village elder. Do you have any tasks for me? No, unfortunate, because that uh, reduces our, our relationship. <coughs> I'm sorry about the coughing, really. Um, there's not, not much I can do about it, but... Uh, yeah. uh, about that task you gave me, I found him and he is dead. Let me take that money, thank you very much. We're going to use that to recruit stuff. Now, um, one of the one of the advantages of Sylvania is everything is close together. Now they don't have a lot of villages to recruit from, but the ones that they do are very close together, so you can jump from one to the other and uh, and you know deal with um, deal with your recruitment rather quickly. The, the also also one one more advantage to this is that every single vampire lord that's not on campaign is really close to his fiefs. Or five, so whatever you, however you pronounce it. He's really close to his holdings. This is a problem. Run away. Okay, there we go. <coughs> I'm sorry. He's really close to his castles and namely his villages, meaning that every time a band of deserters or chaos um, zealots or whatever. Oh, the up, game crashed there. Well, well, it stopped responding and then it started responding, and I, I, did that never happened to me during the entirety of my, my time playing it. Never happened. Okay. Well then, moving on, I suppose. I hope that doesn't become a common thing. Like I said, I've never seen it happen previously, and I've I've a decent amount of time playing this thing. Alright. Where was I? Oh, yes. They're relatively close to... And and have an... And again, not sure why it happened. Uh, I've changed the recording mode now to to full screen, so hopefully that... Well, not hopefully. I know that's gonna gonna stop the, the freezes from happening. And we... Came across our first fight. What's this? Sylvanian scouts against Chaos Zealots. Let's move in and uh, can I actually aid the Chaos Zealots. Interesting. No. No, we shall not. Now I have control of the entire thing, right? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, set up here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Uh, close together, please. Oh, I actually look spread out instead of stand closer. Yeah, yeah. You need. I need you to like group up very tight, tightly. Even you, the skeleton captain, you are very strong. You could take out that entire thing on your own. You're just, you're just probably not aware of it. Marksman will be helpful too. Let's see. Where are they? Ah, just zealots, correct? All right, let them come. Fire away. In fact, you know what? Hold the line here. There you go. Charge. Whoops. I'm being a bit greedy, but I need the experience, to be honest, so... Is that not terrifying? That's the Grim Reaper, right? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. My god, you are an interesting individual. Alright, we've captured a Chaos Zealot. Upgrade our thing to a ghoul. And we shall. I've also leveled up. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, get in Intelligence and Prisoner Management 1. I need to get that up immediately. Because it's one of the, not the, but one of the most cost-effective ways of uh, 
of dealing with prisoners and with money and whatnot, because I'll show you. In this game, or in this mod, uh, as you know, vampires, we don't need. Uh, I'll just find the thing. We don't need. Uh, what are they called? Ransom brokers to sell slaves and to sell prisoners, right? We can just walk up to a tavern keeper, tell them I have prisoners to sell, and do it. It's fantastic. It's very, very um, effective. See there, the lowest level possible troop was like 50, 50 gold, which is enough to hire five recruits. So, yeah. In, on one hand, rather, it's it's not very... It's not a crap ton of money like you would get, for example, from, from looting an imperial village or something, but... Or a small town, but... Uh, it is, it is uh, helpful. Especially when it comes to maintaining the army as well, because, you know, you do have to pay maintenance for it. There is a lord there, so avoid that place like the plague. Um, oh, I think we've ventured a bit too far now. Let's go back into the safety of the land of the undead. Oh, yeah, partially undead. Not everyone here is, is quite so deceased, as you might think. But I talked about that already. No, I'll mention also that this, uh, this entire beginning part of the game can be a bit tedious, I know. I know. I will actually cut it out. I will actually cut out some of the, you know, recruitment, leveling up of my troops, training, stuff like that. <coughs> if nothing interesting happens, I will. I will cut some of that uh, stuff out and just show the the interesting bit, the bits, and turn this more into a story rather than uh, than anything else. Let's go and talk to if we can find. Where's the Red Duke? Is Karstein in his castle? No, but Zakaria the Everling is. Go and talk to him then. Place never gets old. Countess Lilith. Uh, that's the same, right? They're all the same. Hello, sir. Uh, you're in a good mood today. I'm glad to hear it. You might be in an even better mood when I when I ask you if you have any business that I need to to do for you. No. Okay, a bit low on money. Uh, not, not a bit, but very low on money. So we need to uh, need to uh... <sighs> absolutely. <clears throat> I need to work around a little bit for these lords. This I don't think gives you money delivering delivering messages, but it was like twenty yards away. So why not? There we go. I'm sorry if I'm clicking through the town menus a little bit too quickly. It's force of habit mostly than, than anything else. Castle Drakenhof. Let's go and, and visit it. Or if Sigmar and the Orcs have made peace. <laughs> no. No. Uh, that does not ever happen. Ever. No. You don't make peace with the Orcs. Um, you mutually, you know, silently agree to not pillage each other anymore and not fight each other because there's greater threats. Yeah, that, that can happen. But treaties with the orcs? <laughs> no. You have any tasks for me? No. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go outside, actually. I want to see what this, this castle looks like outside. Fairly... Well, no, actually. Oh, hold on, no. Oh no, look at that. Oof, hell no. This. Oh my, this is a nightmare to siege, isn't it? Think about it. A well, like a, a four hundred, five hundred archer army can hold this off against armies ten times its size. Should be careful on the numbers, I know, but. Now give me two to three hundred archers, good archers, to hold this thing, and I will hold it against the entirety of the Empire of Sigmar, probably. And to be brutally honest, the vampires need this kind of advantage. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Wow, all sorts of uh, dungeons and whatnot. It's a very dark place, indeed. Don't know what I expected, it's Castle fucking Drakenhof, but, you know. Trying to show off a lot of the mod, actually, rather than, you know, just giving it a standard let's play, you know, something, something you might expect. Trying to show off a lot of the, the features of the mod. What is this? Drog the Hard's party, um, traveling to Karakantuk. He's going to walk through 
Sylvania, isn't he? My God. Let's go raid the, uh, the, the dwarfs if we can. I think that's going to be rather beneficial for us financially. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, what's this? An orc caravan. Ooh. Let's just force them to give us supplies, because they need food and stuff like that. And butter, for example, works as well. And the reason being... I'm not going to loot the place down, because it takes way too long. This guy's going to come up here and inter intercept me. It's a uh, nasty business indeed. Um, you going to fight each other? No. That's the same dwarf running through Sylvania again. Tad unfortunate. Can we burn down this place? Worden. Or Vorden. I think it's Vorden. Can we burn it down? Actually, uh, since we're going into the Empire, I'll, I'll show it to you on the map. This is the Empire of Sigmar. It doesn't have a very important city that I wanted to see. It doesn't have... Um, what's, the place? what's the place called? Um... The one that got overrun by Skaven, there's a, there's a game on that. Um, Vermintide, the end times, it's in... Midnight, right? No, it's in... A city that ends with with Heim. I, I forget which one it is. I'm, I'm a bit embarrassed. I, I can't believe I forgot which one it is. I've been searching for it. It, it isn't in the game, so... It's for balance reasons, I, I'm very well aware, but, you know... Would have liked it regardless. There could be a lord up here, but he might not come and, and murder me for doing this. Uh, hello. Oh, you have no interest in stopping me. Okay. I will continue then. Alright, there we go. Thank you. For being so cooperative, humans. I should call them mortals, shouldn't I? Absolutely. I like everything really well. I have good inventory management, don't I? Right, let's sort this stuff out. Um, cabbages, that's a lot of food. We're going to take those. Pork is going to rot away. So is this. I'm going to sell it. Some more butter. Uh, fine, dried meat. Cheese and honey. The rest we're going to sell. And find uh, some monetary gain from that, shall we say. Make sure to avoid this idiot, though, because... Uh, yeah. You can see why I said um, pathfinding is essential to survival. Because Warhammer Fantasy is rather crowded with um, people and uh, dwarves and other humanoid life forms wanting to murder you. Most of the time we're going to run away from them, at least in the early game, of course. We have a 9,000 in the goods department. Excellent. Give me all the money. Armor oh, is just 400 arms. It's 400 as well. We can buy a sword, though. We can buy a vampire sword, it is. Well, it's, it's not, but it can be used as a two-hander. A shield. Relatively okay shield. Uh, Sylvanian Impaler. And some bolts. Do you know what? I will. I will take uh, an impaler and the bent bolts. Let's call them this. Armor wise, I would really like, obviously, top shelf stuff, but this, I'm restricted to from doing this, right? Yes. Obviously. You know what? 19 plus 8 is not that terrible. Get some bread, the troops, and uh, visit the tavern. Let's see, I'm wondering how I should use this thing, because I can use it as a one-handed sword, and it's a fairly good one-handed sword. Though sword and shield combination is always uh, equally powerful. It's rather slow, though. Hmm. We shall see, I suppose. Animal merchant, hello. Oh, you sell horses, don't you? And wolves and God, God knows what else. 
can ride a wolf into combat, really. You can also ride a giant spider into combat. I can also ride a necro serpent into combat, my lord. A goat, a bear, oh, apparently I'm from Kislev now. Hmm. Bretonian horses as well. Not interested in horses just yet. Maybe eventually, but considering my um my weaponry, not interested in horses just yet. Do I have any prisoners? No, I don't. Alright. Let's move on then, shall we? Yes, I think we shall. So, is there anything or anyone that wants to fight us is the uh, the main question here. Night is falling, and uh, I don't believe so, to be honest. We can recruit some more men, on uh, always. There's a bunch of recruits there. But again, we don't want to, we, want, we don't want like too many of these because they slow us down quite a lot. As you might expect, you're driving you're dragging around five hundred, oh, five hundred, driving around forty ghouls is uh, not exactly the best thing in the world. What is this? Kislevites. All right, go get them if we can if we can reach them on time. Obviously. Ah, it's a shame. We mean surrender or die. No, no. no. Yeah, we're all friends here. Good, good. I don't know why that was the default question. Hello. I want to meet you as well. Collect taxes in the village of Edgling, or Egling. Probably Edgling, right? Fine. Where is it? There. No? There. Uh. Should be easy enough. You know, provided a, a random... What are you? Ah, villagers, okay. Let's recruit some guys and uh, collect these taxes. There is a, is a bit of a cheesy way to... Um... Oh, you don't want to do. Here's a bit of a cheesy way to, to go about this thing. You collect the taxes and then run off into a distant land. Never talk to the guy again. Spend all your money on, you know, weapons, equipment, men, whatever you want, and, you know, make a name for yourself elsewhere. Not gonna do that, but I'm just saying it is an option. Uh, now this is gonna be a bit, this is gonna be tough. Follow me instead of, uh, you know, running around the place. And then come to us. Please hurry it up, we, we kind of need you, we are heavily outnumbered. Beat them with sticks. I don't know why I'm not sucking them dry at this point, because now they are rioting against me and all that. I'll take great offence, so on and so forth. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, heavily outnumbered. <clears throat> Luckily, they're not too smart, and taking a step to the left usually confuses the living hell out of them. So I'm pretty sure I'm faster than, uh, than they are. There we go. Right, good work. Good work. I expected that to be more difficult than it was. Quite a decent bit of money from this place. Around 5,000, just under. Right, fair enough. We have like 13,000 money already to begin with. That's, uh, that's quite a lot. Indeed it is. Um, what do I have? I have grapes as well. Let's keep these grapes. I'm thinking whether we should go to the Empire up here and you know, towards Beckhafen and, and all these places and start raiding a little bit to, to, just to, to get XP mostly. Okay, pathfinding, don't fail me now. And then you realise there is no pathfinding in this game. Bullshit. Bullshit! That is bullshit! No! That is bullshit. Um, pull back, leaving some... Five soldiers will be left behind. Go on. <clears throat> that is bullshit. I move faster than him. Look at that. 3.2, 3.3. Yet... Ah. Oh, he's going to catch up to me again. Of course he is. Run away. Run away. Look at that. The motherfucker is cheating. 
Emperor Karl Franz himself is following me. At this point, you have to feel honored, right? Come on. Get me across the river. Find a way across somewhere, somehow. Bet you there's a way across. You're just not aware of it. Come on. <clears throat> Try and catch them. 5.6. Ah, there we go. Let's run or die. Ah, oh, the enemy. You don't actually lose honor from doing this. Oddly enough. And then not honor among vampires. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. But uh, worth noting, there is no such thing as honor. <laughs> they fixed the crossbow. Hold on. Yep, yeah, they did. They fixed the crossbow. This is the last time I played. You used to, the camera used to be a lot more to the left, so you wouldn't see where you're shooting at. Now it's like it's it's properly to the side of it, so you can see where the bolt is going to go. Like, you can't actually aim with this thing now as a player, rather than... used to be, like, stuck in the middle of the screen, like, half of it would be obscured completely by the, the wooden bits of the, the crossbow. All right, awesome. Um, advance, like, 20 paces. Try and look professional and all that. I know, we're wielding giant bones. I'm going to smudgeon them to death, probably. I know. I know. Oh, miss. I'm missing a half. Really? I suck. Now, that should have been a hit. Mind you, I don't expect to have much problems with villagers, so... There we go, cut her head off clean. Gotta imagine, like, a dismemberment mod with this. Ooh. Can that actually be done? I'll test it out, I'll see. If we can get a dismemberment mod going... It'd be glorious. The archers and, uh... This is all worthless, I'm gonna sell these things, right? See, I would keep these, but they look hideous, so no. I'll sell the rest. I suppose it's a tiny bit of money, but every bit helps and all that. Ooh! The uh, the herd is still there. Actually, not bad to... Uh, I can, to sell these things before they spoil. Uh, Drakenhof, for example. Speed up time. Uh, we made it. All right, goods merchant, eight thousand again. You refresh quickly. Sell them all these things. There you go. Decent bit of money. Large bag of bolts instead of the bent bolts. Sure. Uh, it's a regular Savannian impaler. That's good. Bomb shield, are okay. It's armor that's mostly um. What interests me now, and most of it is like 20,000 gold, so that's uh, you might expect a little bit of a problem for me. We'll see if I can't find any on the battlefield, that would, um, that would be ideal. No drawing weapons, just instead, there's uh, like one of those drunks in the, in the tavern, always. Hey, hello, good sir, I have slaves. There you go, some more money for me. Excellent. Right, well, we're off to a terrific start. Next time, um... Are we going to fight these guys? Hell no. I'm going to recruit some more men and go and raid another village, perhaps up here. Anyways, until then, this has been part one of Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband, the Warsort Conquest mod. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Please remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video, as it helps the channel out immensely, and you'll be able to stay tuned with the uh, series as it continues on. But until next time, take care, and bye-bye.